Good morning nursery, today is Tuesday the 16th of June and we are learning about the Gruffalo. Now yesterday we read the story of the Gruffalo and we drew a picture of the little mouse and today what we need to do is look at the story again and think about um, the order that things happened because you are going to be sequencing the story and putting the pictures in the right order. So we need to have a look at the book again so we can remember what happened first. So, Mouse took a stroll in the deep dark wood and who was the first character that he, that he spotted? Yes, it was the fox. And the fox thought he looked good. The mouse started telling him all about the Gruffalo and the fox ran away. Who did he see next? An owl. And the owl wanted the mouse to come and have tea in his treetop house but the mouse said no, no, no. And he told him about the Gruffalo. And the owl flew away. So the mouse was walking. Then he saw the fox. Now he's seen the owl. Who did he see next? The snake. He saw the snake next. And the snake wanted him to come for a feast in his log pile house. But the mouse said no, no, no. And told him about the Gruffalo. Then the mouse met the Gruffalo. Ah! Oh, help. Oh, no. And they went back through the woods with the Gruffalo. Back to see the snake. Back to see the owl. Back to see the fox. Uh-oh. And then what happened at the end? The mouse said, Now my tummy's beginning to rumble and my favourite food is Gruffalo crumble. And the Gruffalo said, Ah! All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was good. So in the end, the mouse stayed safe. Tricked all the other animals, mm -hmm. tricked the Gruffalo and then was able to rest in peace, eating his nut quite happily. So that was the order of the story. So the mouse went for a walk, met the... Shout it out, who did she meet first? The fox, then who did she meet? The owl, and then who did she meet? The snake, and then who did she meet? The Gruffalo, and at the end she scared the Gruffalo away. And finished off her day eating a nice juicy nut. So if you have a look at the pictures on the school website on the PowerPoint for today, uh, you can print them if you want and cut them out or you can just point to them. See if you can remember the right order of the story, who the mouse spotted first and what happened in the beginning and the middle and the end. The Gruffalo. Well done, everyone. Now, one of your challenges today is to practice writing your numbers and we've done a lot of that. So I'm going to let you do that by yourself. One of your mini challenges was to find three things that are soft and three things that are hard. So I've got some things here, all different types of things. Let's have a look and see which ones are soft and which ones are hard. Let's start with, well, this little flannel here. You can see that's really soft. So I'm gonna put that over here and say, this side is the soft things. I'm gonna put that there really soft it's made of cotton material it's really really soft for washing can you see anything else that you think might be soft no that's not soft it's a little baby toy yes that's really soft and spongy inside a soft toy okay so we've got soft material cloth there and a soft toy mm -hmm. and I've got one more soft thing one more soft thing hmm I think I'm gonna have to feel them because I can't really tell by looking if they're soft that's not soft that's not soft that's not soft ah look a soft and bendy number two made from foam this is one of the numbers that we use in the water tray or in the bath. That one's soft. So we've got three very different things here, but they are all soft. 
And now I've got three very different things here, but they are all hard. Elsa is hard. Can you hear her? She makes a tapping noise. Can't squeeze her. Ouch, if I squeeze her too much, it hurts my hand. She is made of plastic and she is hard. These little, little toy of flowers is, can you hear? I can't, I can't bend or squeeze it to change the shape. And this is made from wood. That one's hard. So there's some hard plastic, some hard wood. And this, again, can't, can't bend or squeeze it. Makes a tapping sound when I tap it on the table. Made from metal. And she is hard as well. So I've got some hard metal, some hard wood, some hard plastic. And over here we've got some soft foam. We've got a soft squishy toy and we've got some soft material. See if you can find three soft things and three hard things. And maybe you can explain to someone in your house what makes something soft and what makes something hard. Well done, everyone. I will see you all again later for 30 Days Wild. Have a wonderful day. Bye.